Hello guys, Vizarish here bringing you another Total War Warhammer replay with commentary. For today's battle we have uh, the Tomb Kings being led by Archon the Black against the forces of High Elves uh, being led by Peklis, uh, Teklis uh, on his Arcane Phoenix. So this is a kind of long battle so let's just jump into the army composition for my frontline. I have two units of Tomb Kings, two units of Tomb, uh, I'm sorry, Tomb Guard, two Tomb Guards with Halberds, four units of Skeleton Spearmen, uh, two Ushapti with Great Bow, one of them the Chosen of the Gods, a unit of uh, Sepulchular, <laughs> I, I can never say that, but yeah, the Eyes of the Desert here, and I have a unit of Skeleton Horse Archers as well. For my leadership uh, and heroes, I have a Tomb Prince with Tomb Strike and Archon here. Let's see what he brought for this battle here. He has Tomb Blade of uh, Archon, the Staff of Nagash, Liber Mortis, Fate of Buna, Spirit Leech, the Curse, and Life Leeching. And yeah, that's it for my army. Let's see what my opponent has brought. So for his front line, he has two units of uh, Spearmen and three units of rangers uh, i mean four four units of rangers a unit of archers here uh, for cav the dragon princess ror the farm board here and two units of eagle club uh, bolt throwers uh, my opponent also brought two phoenixes really good um, against tomb kings one of them is a uh, phoenix the other one is a uh, peckless but in the vanguard deep in vanguard two illyrian reavers i guess they're one could have said the swear there were two so yeah uh we're gonna say one till one of them <laughs> show themselves but yeah probably just one unit and yeah let's see what techless has got uh, for this battle on his um phoenix here he has bound fiery convocation potion of shiro regrowth flock of doom the enfeebling foe net of amnitak greater arcane conduit and uh laura laura attribute of um high magic and fire so uh really competitive uh build here i re really love this uh the only uh problem i have with this uh formation is that the bolt throwers are uh, too close and yeah that's uh that's not good uh, because yeah he has to move his army to protect them against my infantry i'm not sure if it's a mistake or not so yeah, I need to move in fast. I need to get my uh, Ushapti with great bows into the range to shoot these uh, bolt throwers, Arcan going after the infantry. Uh, but yeah, uh, if these guys, they have <clears throat> 380 range, uh, the Ushapti has uh, something around two, uh, 255. So <clears throat> yeah, if my opponent just uh, deployed them a little bit uh, back, uh, they would uh, they would have uh, not taken this much damage. So for the front line, um, yeah, nothing special. Tomb guards are gonna do decent there. But I um, I was uh, trying to go around getting rid of the infantry, but uh, Archon unfortunately gets stuck here <laughs> now. Fireborn, two phoenixes are uh, wailing on him. He he has weakness against fire, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this is really dangerous. So I summon a unit of uh, skeletons here and cast a Liber Mortis. And fortunately, I'm able to run away here. The uh, unit of Illyrian Reavers go into the Chosen of the Gods. A uh, really good play by my opponent, bogging them down. As soon as I see this, because I moved the Eyes of the Desert to support Archon, uh, I have to uh, bring someone to help these Ushapti uh, who are taking a lot of damage here. Uh, for the bol bolt throwers, yeah, I'm able to uh, shatter one of them. The other one are uh, being disrupted by a unit of skeleton horsemen. Uh, Arkan here casting a spirit leech on the Ill Illyrian river. I think I casted a um, spirit leech on Fireborn as well, which is a really cost-effective way to deal with them. But overall, I'm tr I, uh, I was successful in saving my Ushapti here, which is really important in this matchup. Uh, so what else? Yes, some archers who've been um, who had been um, routing now are back. I sent my skeleton horsemen to deal with them. Uh, my opponent casts a fiery convocation here. Really scary. 
I'm trying to move out of it, but uh, I don't think I'm, uh, I'll be able to do it in time yet. Yeah, th that was a lot of damage there. And yeah, um, the infantry fight uh, went uh, into, uh, I mean, I was more successful in uh, infantry fight, but the um, phoenixes are really causing some uh, problems here. I need to deal with them ASAP, but uh, it's just it's not just two of them the fireborn are here as well so i'm sending my tomb prince and archon to deal with them i need to spirit leash them down and uh, i summon the ushapti uh, summon here i want to bug them down and deal with them as soon as possible uh, these guys are gonna cause a lot of problem for my ushapti which is scary because uh, if they die i have no way of uh, dealing with these uh, flame spires phoenixes so yeah, fortunately, uh, I'm able to kind of deal with these guys. They they don't have a lot of models now, 15. I cast another uh, Spirit Leech here. And now I need to deal with these uh, Phoenixes. Fortunately, these uh, Ushapti has, uh, have a high mass. So they're holding them there, uh, holding Tech List there. I summon a unit in front of, the te in front of Tech List to hold him down. And I was trying to pin him down from front but unfortunately our can get stuck uh, the eyes of the desert are fighting uh, the uh, fireborn that's why they're so beat up uh, for some reason my tomb guard tomb prince uh, doesn't get uh, netted down which is interesting here but yeah now what else remaining some infantry uh, for my opponent some rangers here some uh, here which are being dealt with uh, dealt with uh, I need to get rid of these phoenixes. Uh, they're causing a lot of problem, but yeah, they're just too fast I need to cast uh, spirit leeches and I think I was able to free my Ushaptis. This one has six models this one eight uh, Which is good uh, still some ammo remaining uh, Let's see the va value they has uh, <coughs> Wow, 1300 that's that's really nice they already paid for themselves what about these guys uh, this these guys are doing fine as well i think they're shooting at the phoenix and doing uh okay there uh i'm not worried about infantry here but the phoenixes uh, are a, re a real big problem here and yeah if they um able to isolate my tomb prince or archon here uh, they're gonna really uh, beat the uh, brakes off of them uh, literally <laughs> this time but yeah um, the phoenix going after Archon let's see if he can land any hits I'm trying to move through my own units that's the only way I can uh, save Archon here but Teclis is uh, going after him as well I just need to find my infantry and yeah just uh, don't get isolated with these um, chariot units but my opponent, <laughs> very vigilant, very um, aware, going after the Chosen of the Gods. He was playing really well here. I mean, uh, the only problem I see uh, with his um, deployment and play is the, is the uh, bolt throwers there. If they were online, they could have taken the Chosen of the Gods uh, down by, uh, by now. And the, the other one would have taken a lot of damage here. And yeah, these phoenixes would have uh, finished them off real fast. So I'm just trying to bring one of the phoenixes down. But my opponent with a beautiful play. Throwing uh, fire feces on these poor tomb guards. And yeah, I, I just need to bring Archon there as well. <laughs> so yeah, he took a bit of damage there. I'm not sure if, he, if his curse is active now. Uh, that's a really um, important uh, ability there in this matchup. But yeah, my opponent is uh, relentless. These poor Ushapti uh, are taking a lot of damage there. I think my opponent casted a regrowth here. That's why Teclis's uh, HP is so high. But yeah, he's uh, at his um, healing cap, which is really nice. Let's see if we can bring this uh, Flames Virus Phoenix down. Uh, 600 HP, 400. And yeah, if you guys... Oh my god, that healing, that, that was 3000 HP back. <laughs> That's so devastating. If you guys have saw my, um, the other battle I had um, as high ups against Skaven, yeah, that's interesting as well. I'm gonna 
leave a link in the uh, top right of the video here that was interesting as well but uh, the gist of the matter is um, my opponents uh, region units always get their region and yeah that's uh, that's really uh, backbreaking <laughs> anyways um, on the other side of, uh, of the battle my opponent has uh, two units here a one unit of rangers and spearmen I can deal with them fast that's why I'm moving this way let's just fast forward for a bit Arkan going to deal with them he needs to get his kills up kill numbers up uh, let's see if he can do that 73 75 nice uh, so I have some ammo here and no no more ammunition on these um, chosen of the gods but my opponent sees an oppor opportunity so he goes for Arkan uh, I, I try to move um, through my skeleton spearman uh, let's see if this uh, Phoenix can hit fortunately uh, he's uh, kind of get distracted but yeah that's uh, that's a really devastating hit there and yeah the curse goes off but the only unit in the radius is flames Fires phoenix uh which is not that good <laughs> but yeah i'm just trying to move through my own unit if uh, techless comes down he's gonna get uh, bogged down by this uh, spearman which is really good here now i go for these rangers here the uh, ushapji are trying to shoot here shoot the phoenix uh yeah i'm just trying to uh create roadblocks uh, for the phoenixes here the only units remaining these uh rangers have a long way to leave the uh, boundaries of uh, bat uh battlefield here which is really scary uh, i get back down again <laughs> not not good i need to run away i'm trying to kill this phoenix here let's see if this time it's gonna happen 600 hp 500 400 and another healing <laughs> oh my god i was so i was so mad at this part of the battle i was uh kind of fuming here but overall i don't think he's gonna come back i'm not gonna let him get away this time so yeah and still a uh, thousand hp oh my god i think he's gonna run away again scary stuff so uh, yeah, uh, this time my opponent catches me. I was trying to move from under uh, Teclis here, but he caught me. Now, uh, yeah, te poor Archon, two uh, hundred HP remaining, and crumbling probably is uh, crumbling really, really fast. If you don't have region, that's uh, that's scary. So yeah, uh, hundred HP nine. I think this is it for poor Arkan here but for the last dish effort he uh, leads the phoenix into the spearman uh, which is really crucial tomb guard coming to uh, pin him down and finally this phoenix who used uh, its rebirth two times <laughs> healed for around 5000 yeah uh, he's dead thank god the rangers are still not out of the boundaries take list 1000 hp and I think uh, I've got this in bag now, The but a beautiful um, flock of doom here. But if these guys uh, leave, uh, I think Techless is gonna break now. But yeah, I have some ammos as well. Uh, doing decent amount of damage, 6, uh, 600 damage, HP I mean. And yeah, that's it. A beautiful fight. Uh, GG to my opponent here. Uh, Balkyr, I think, uh, I hope I'm uh, pronouncing your name right we played two games uh his uh i think he really likes high elves and yeah i really uh, learned a lot from him i mean phoenixes against tomb king are really good pick in my opinion uh, and i think if um he uh ke kept his uh, bolt throwers back a little bit back uh he would have won this game they would have done so much they would have uh shut down the chosen of the gods eye of the desert and yeah that's uh that's um that would have been real scary. So let's see how our units did. Uh, 1700 damage from Archon. Not bad. Not real, uh, Not bad at all. 84 kills. Wow. Tomb, uh, tomb King. Uh, I mean Tomb Prince. Uh, I really uh, like these guys. These guys always pay for themselves. If you micro them um, decently enough. Yeah. Uh, 2400 damage value. The skeletons. Uh, 
and this one did fine this one did okay tomb guards wow really nice nice good okay and yeah this uh this skeleton horse archers i always uh, i usually bring two of these guys but this uh, battle i didn't have the gold for it <coughs> nearly 3000 damage value uh, this is up to you really happy with uh, its performance and as i said if the uh the bolt throwers were alive uh, they would have probably uh, killed these guys and uh the 3000 damage value uh would have been uh gone uh, this one also did fine 1400 uh, they were uh they were focused uh in the major part of the game the illyrian rivers and uh, fireborn shut them down and yeah the eyes of the desert did fine as well uh, they they were fighting fireborn so understandable that uh, they couldn't do better but the damage value is fine so let's see how my opponent did really great uh, techless plays there uh, 2000 damage value um, he costs a lot so yeah even though he did a lot of uh, stuff in that battle unfortunately uh, with f uh, 15k uh, damage dealt uh, still not enough yeah but the infantry did fine uh especially these three uh, this unit i was able to shut down fast this one did good uh really okay damage value the phoenix yeah really great uh near 2200 damage value unfortunately yeah the only problem i uh see with these uh with this game uh, my opponent's uh, gameplay was the ball throwers yeah he could have won easily and yeah really great game gg to my opponent so yeah that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did i would really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe uh i upload videos daily so stay tuned for that as well i have a discord channel uh link in the description if you guys want to ch chat and hang out and yeah that's it catch you all later bye